And by only, I mean they didn't even come close. <laughs> yeah. Now, before we get going here today, since there's not going to be a lot to talk about, there was a lot of squash matches on the show, and it was largely a miserable time. I went up to WWE.com because there was something on the show that was so good that I'm going to be playing the audio here on the show. That's true. I forgot about that. Yeah, that was very good. Now, and I went up to the WWE.com website to get to the network. On the very front page, don't go there, Vinny. On uh, the very front page is a giant map of the United States. And what they have done is every state of the Union has been created out of someone's name. <laughs> okay. 50 superstars from 50 states. What superstar hails from the state that you're from? Washington. So, for example, yes, Washington should be easy. Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan, it says right here. Yeah. Now, as I was looking through this, the first thing I saw, obviously, was Daniel Bryan, because I looked at my own state. That's also in the upper left. And then, of course, you look down there in the Carolinas, and there's Ric Flair. Mm -hmm. But then I saw a couple of names that I didn't expect. And so I'm going to quiz you, Vinny, on a few of these. We're going to find out. <laughs> Actually, there's one I just noticed. Please tell me that New Mexico is Cactus Jack. I will let you know right now. Right. New Mexico. I got to scroll way down here. Is not Cactus Jack. Really? I have no idea who else it would be. I will give you three guesses. Mm -hmm. And if you guess it, I will give you $50. All right. Okay. Swear to God. New Mexico. I am thinking. Keep in mind, Washington is Daniel Bryan. Mm -hmm. North Carolina is Ric Flair. So you're saying it's a star close to that level. I'm not saying anything. I'm just telling you those are the two right there. Okay, the those are the first two that I saw. The only one from New Mexico I knew was, of course, Cactus Jack from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Sure. Um, is it a Guerrero? You may as well just throw out three names because okay. you ain't going to get it. I could put $50,000 on the line. I don't think you'd get it. Chavo Guerrero Jr. Wrong. Lasertron. Wrong. Gobbledygooker. Wrong. I don't know. Chains. Brian Lee. I, you were right. <laughs> in, you could have put $500,000 on the line. I would not have gotten that in three guesses. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because some of these, it's just like, it's blown my mind who they've chosen for this map. For example, may I go who, to the page? No, not yet. All right. Who do you think they've chosen for California? IA? Hulk Hogan. Oh, uh, silly me. It's 2016, and he's yeah. Sting. California is John Morrison. Really? Who isn't even? He's in a rival promotion. Yes. And it's not like this is only. This is really the only guy it's that really they could come up with in California. There's Think about Rey Mysterio. This. Oh wait, the most the most famous state in the union, New York. Who do you think they found that hailed from New York? Jim Duggan. The Brooklyn Brawler. I see. Yeah. Can you imagine? Oh, you should be able to get this one. Oregon. Billy Jack Haynes. That's right. Pennsylvania. Uh, Bruno. Kurt Angle. Oh, yeah. Which is also somewhat of a surprise for me. A Vermont, <laughs> which actually blows my mind who they chose. I don't know any of them. Killer Kowalski, I'll say. Green Mountain Boy John McMahon, the collar and elbow style wrestler <laughs> who competed until the late 19th century at circuses in the United States and Canada. Okay, that's outstanding. That's the best they could come up with. How about... I'm sure you can guess Texas, although there's a million options. That, who, who, who do you think they chose? Steve Austin. That's right. Okay. They chose Steve Austin. Who's from Delaware? Because there's only two I know of. Who Who are the two that you know of? The Briscoes. <laughs> I bet it's not them. I would bet it's not. Bulldog Brower. 
Oh, okay. Stu Hart's Stampede Wrestling. Yeah. Out of all of the possible wrestlers that could hail from Georgia, who do you think they chose? Goldberg. Why? Stardust. Cody Uh, Rhodes. Ah, yes. And you think to yourself, well, obviously, it's a WWE guy. They chose Stardust. But when you look up and down this list, you might have some other surprises, such as, who do you think they chose for Indiana? I don't know. I will give you a hint. He is the second most famous man to ever come out of Seymour, Indiana. Oh, uh, Rip. Rip Rogers. Yes. That's right. Think about the wrestling pedigree of the great state of Iowa. Oh, yeah. Who do you think they chose? Seth Rollins. (laughs) They did! Okay. I did not think you would get that. How about the great state of Louisiana? Junkyard Dog? This one you won't get. Lash LaRue. (laughs) Rodney Mack. I would... Okay, seriously, I would have gone with Lash LaRue first. Listen to this. The hard-hitting Rodney Mack was so skilled at knocking out WWE opponents from 2002 to 2004 that it became his staple to beat challengers in five minutes or less. It did? (laughs) Massachusetts, obviously, is... John Cena. Minnesota is Brock Lesnar. How about, here's a tough one, Montana. And the answer is not Granny. Mm. Um, Montana. I don't have any idea. Um, John Nord, the the Berserker. Gary Albright. No. They give Ohio to Dolph Ziggler. And what has to be my favorite. Tennessee, obviously, is a guess. Jerry Lawler. That's right. Utah. Two more. Uh, three more here. Utah. Um, oh, God, his name is, I can't, is drawing a blank on his name. The, the Mormon guy from like the 50s. That's right. The Mormon giant, Don Leo Jonathan. Don Leo Jonathan. Yes, thank you. Don Leo Jonathan. How about... Ooh, by the way, if you've never seen his stuff, was great. Oh, yeah, he was. How about the great state of Virginia? Um, I can't think of any. I will throw out a name, and uh, I will say uh, Bunkhouse Buck. I'll give you a hint. Right. An object in a state of hypeness stays in a state of hypeness. Oh. Uh, Mojo <laughs> Mojo, Raleigh. yes. And I do love this one right here. Wyoming. Oh, uh, I thought there was more was coming from that. Well, no one's in Wyoming to this day. It's a big, empty place. Um, Stu Hart. I don't know. Stu Hart? Yes, he's Canadian. I realize. You fucking moron. They list it as parts unknown. Oh, do they? Because they claim nobody is from Wyoming. Is from Wyoming. I told you. Now, Eric Bischoff lives in Wyoming. But he did not hail from Wyoming. No. So, not one, they could not find one single solitary wrestler, apparently in history, given this list, that hailed from Wyoming. So, if anybody can think of one, you can scoop, you can out scoop WWE. So, what I should do, move to Wyoming, then have a match, and then declare myself the best wrestler in the history of the state. You could. Yeah. Yeah. But you'd have to be born there. I just have to live there. No, because Eric Bischoff lives there. He wrestled. And they didn't have him down. Hmm. You have to hail from there. Claire was born in Minnesota. Eh, it's just, that's a bullshit anyway. All right. Well, there's that. Cool. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> All right, I stalled for enough time. Let's I, go 